Hi, Barbara. Hey, hi, Robert. Here we are again at another beautiful owl. Yes, we are here with Erica Padre's owl. Yes, and this uh, is called Joy. Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure why it's called Joy, but you can just look at it. And I mean, it definitely gives you a joyous feeling. I mean, the colors, the are, colors are very are, joyous. The colors are very uplifting. They're yes. every, every color imaginative it is right here in this painted owl. Yes. Lots of detail. Yeah. And, um, and I just love how she did the base with this beautiful sky blue with clouds in it. So you really do, you know, get that feeling that this is a bird in flight. Absolutely. Just taking a little break. Taking a little break. Yeah. Here in Saugerties yes. at that. Exactly. Now, do, what is the story behind Rocky? Uh, well, Rocky uh, was actually found in the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree in a uh, uh, couple years ago, right? Um, uh, yeah, I think it was yeah. two Christmases ago. Yep, yep, it was a couple Christmases ago, and uh, Rocky was brought up here to Ravensbeard uh, 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 the Sanctuary. Yeah, yes, yes, that's and, right. And uh, was rehabilitated, yes. and then um, let and loose. And then released. Now, the, the, um, the owl was discovered in the tree while down in New York City uh, by one of the people that were unloading it from, from a truck. And then he called his wife, and the wife got in touch with uh, Ravensbeard here in Saugerties to rehabilitate the owl. The owl was undernourished. It was probably suffering from hypothermia. And so they met up in New Paul's and Ellen from Ravensbeard took charge, took the bird back to her sanctuary, nurtured it, and within a very, very short time, the bird had put weight on and recovered and was able to be released back into the wild. And became quite a celebrity. Quite a celebrity. There are books about Rocky. There's been talk about doing a film about Rocky. So, and here in Saugerties, we chose Rocky for this year's public art display. And there's about 35 owls in town, all, all individual by different artists. Um, you can find a, um, a walking map over at the so uh, Saugerties Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center, which is right on Partition Street. Uh, you can also stop by Emerge Gallery. I've got a couple copies there. Um, and then have a walk around town. You can do a little bit of a self-guided tour. Uh, go check out each owl. All of the owls are available um, to purchase. Um, all you need to do is bid on them, and at the end of the season, at the end of the summer, um, you can take one of the owls home for yourself. Right, these uh, make wonderful garden sculptures. They do, and I, I said before, I, occasionally I'll go over to a friend's house and I'll see um, one of the sculptures from previous years, previous. As, and that's become part of their yard. And uh, just to let everybody know that the proceeds from the auction will be divided several ways. So. Um, the recipient this year, our not-for-profit charity this year, is going to be Ravensbeard, and justly so, since they work so hard to save this little guy. And then um, the artist will receive a portion of the sale, and the rest will go back into the coffers at the Chamber of Commerce to finance next year's public art exhibit. And all you need to do is just come on by and bid. There's a, a handy little QR code down on the bottom here. Just scan it. It'll take you right to uh, the website, and you can bid on um, Joy or any other owl that uh, strikes your fancy. Uh, thanks, Barbara. Thank and you. thank you to uh, Erica Padgery. It's really great to be doing this.